Hello, students. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Welcome, everybody, to this new module, to these new classes. Mm -hmm. I am very, very happy to be here with you. My name is Natalie de Flores. You can call me Teacher Nati or Miss Nati the way you want. And it's a pleasure for me to meet you, right? Welcome to pre-intermediate three, right? You have had a couple of classes now and that's very nice. So uh, I am very, very glad that uh, I have the opportunity to be your teacher now. Well, uh, I have been a teacher for many years, but it's my first time here with Inglés Corporativo. Uh, I would like three volunteers to introduce themselves. You can raise the hand on the platform or you can just open your microphone and introduce yourselves. I need three volunteers only. Okay, Amilcar, raise his hand. Go ahead, Amilcar. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you, teacher. Thank you, it's a um, pleasure to meet you too. Okay, uh, um, everybody, um, I am happy to start the class again. Um, I am very happy to, to know you. Very good. Thank you uh, very much. My name is Amilcar Alejandro Escobar Miranda. Um, uh, and I have to, to learn uh, very much in this, in this, in this class. Okay, very good. Teacher. Okay. Um, I live, I live in Mexicanos and I have, uh, and I, I'm uh, 47 years old. You are 47 years old. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm married and I'm very happy with my family. Very um, nice. And I'm happy with you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Claps for you, Amilcar. Very nice. Any other volunteer who wants to introduce him or herself? Go ahead. Evelyn, your microphone is on. Evelyn Liliana? Yes, Evelyn Liliana, okay. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So, hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello. It's a pleasure. Okay. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. It's a pleasure to be here again. So, okay. my name is Liliana Aquino, but you can call me Lily. Uh, okay. In this moment, I live in Zaragoza. The okay. more or less, the, the, I have three people in my family, my mom, my sister, and my niece, and then my daddy, uh, four people, sorry. Okay, <laughs> then, very okay. nice, very so nice. Mom, I, I hope to more English in this class because I need to improve my speak. You need to improve your speaking. Okay, okay. very okay. nice. Excellent job Claps nice. for you. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> and the final volunteer. Who is going to okay. okay, so very good. Thank you very much okay. for... Uh, remember to keep your microphones uh, off, right? Remember to okay. to uh, mute your microphones. And who is going to be the last one that it's going to uh, participate? Open your microphone and talk. <laughs> if not, it's going to be finger cracking. <laughs> I believe everybody is very nervous. Oh, come on. You don't have to feel nervous. You have to feel comfortable that you are here, that yes. we are together, and that we are learning, right? So yes. you have to be you have to be very, very nice and calm that uh, we're going to learn, 
Well, if not in tomorrow's class, I am going to choose another volunteer. Today I am going to ask, let me see, Maria Jose. Can you introduce yourself in a very, very simple way? Go ahead. Well, um, good evening, everyone. Good evening. And my name is Maria Jose. I'm a graphic uh, designer. Pleased to meet and you. Thanks, and nice to meet you all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, okay. You're and my first expectations are several. So, um, most of the things I would like to learn it's okay. practice more my English in my conversation because okay. I need to be more fluently and try to not think uh, to translate everything that I think at the moment. Okay, <laughs> okay. That, is, that is something very important, right? That is something very important that you try to speak English, right? But try not to translate the things, right? Because that is going to help you later on for you to provide uh, more uh, about the language. Well, where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> um, I live in San Salvador. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, together. <laughs> okay. So uh, everybody, we have a couple of class agreements. Do you know the meaning of agreements? Acuerdos. Mm. Acuerdos, right? Uh, some of the agreements that we have for the class are to practice your English as much as possible. So try to practice your English every time that you can, right? Be respectful and polite, right? Remember that we are all learning and we all want to participate. So remember to be respectful and polite, attend all your classes, right? It's very important for you to attend all your classes. Keep your cameras active all the time, right? And something very, very crucial about this module is that I need you to work on the educational platform. You can start working on the platform right now, right? And for sure, you can advance. Remember that we're going to be working hand-to-hand uh, -hand with the platform. So please try to work on the platform as well. If you have any difficulty with the platform, let me know but make sure that you know the and number activity. of the exercise, okay? So and remember to so. keep the number of the exercise that you are working on for you, to, uh, for you to know, right? For you to know which exercise do you need help in, okay? Si, por, por ejemplo, eh, tenemos un problema en el ejercicio 4.3, anotemos el número del ejercicio, okay? That's something very important. And keep an active and cooperative activity on the WhatsApp group, right? I have been sending you little messages there on the group. The group is, uh, that is the purpose of the group. For you to practice English, for you to collaborate with each other, and for you to help each other as well, okay? So uh, do you have any question about the agreements? Any new vocabulary? Or if everything is okay, tell me. Teacher, it's okay. How do you say, what's the meaning of agreements? Okay, that's a very good question. What's the meaning of, if you see a new word there on the presentations or on the class, you tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of? Okay, agreements mean acuerdos, okay? Acuerdos. Any other question? If everything is okay, you can tell me, it's clear. It's clear. Very good job. So let's continue. Today, we are going to work a little bit on adjectives and adverbs. Can everybody see the screen that I am sharing? Yes. Very yes, good, yes. excellent. So adjectives and adverbs, that is the first topic that we're going to study for uh, this module, right? I know you have been practicing before uh, all these things, but I am going to ask you 
one question. What is an adjective? And I need you to raise your hand to give me the answer. You can raise the hand there on the platform. On the reactions, you can see the option of levantar la mano and you can raise your hand there for you to answer. Me? Roberto Donay, go ahead. What is uh, an adjective? The adjective is the complement of the noun and mm -hmm. describe, describe the noun. It describes the noun. Very good job, very good job. That's a very good answer. Now, I need a volunteer, a different volunteer, to tell me what is an adverb. What's an adverb? Now it's the moment for you to check the notebook there. It's like, oh, I have it right here. Where is it? <laughs> and if you don't know, it's okay. You can tell me, teacher, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yes, I remember, but <laughs> first is the sign. After is the place of the place. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know more idea. <laughs> okay, well, you're, you're doing good, right? You're doing good, a little bit good there with uh, the idea about the adverbs and the adjectives, okay? So what are, are the things? I am going to show it to you right now. Okay, right here. What is an adverb? And here we have the definition of it. What is an, ad an adverb? It says, an adverb is a word or a set of words that modifies the verbs, adjectives or other adverbs, right? In an adjective, it's a word that describes a noun. In other words, it tells you more about a particular, a particular person, place, or thing, right? So an adverb modifies a verb, an adjective, or other adverbs. And an adjective describes a noun. So if I tell you, for example, give me adjectives to describe your mother, what adjectives would you use? Just open your microphone and give me examples. Patient. Patient, good. Patient. Beautiful. Beautiful, very good. Happily. Happy. Happy, okay. What else? Funny. Friendly. Funny, funny, friendly, very good. Cute. Cute, excellent. Any other one? Kind. Kind. In some cases, they are angry, right? <laughs> In some cases. <laughs> okay, so those are adjectives because you describe the things. If I give you, for example, the question, give me adjectives to describe our country, El Salvador. What adjectives would you use? A small. So a small country. It's small, little. right? Little, small, very good. What else? Beautiful. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah, many people will say dangerous, but dangerous. El Salvador is really beautiful. It is more beautiful than dangerous, right? It has so many beautiful places to visit. So, excellent. All the examples that you gave me were very nice. But what happens when you include an adverb next to an adjective? A person can be really beautiful. No, sorry, a person can be beautiful. But if you include an adverb to this one, it becomes really beautiful. Very beautiful. Extremely beautiful. So it's more than beautiful. Right, you intensify the adjective with the use of an adverb. In this case, I collected some adverbs for you and I have some examples like really, fairly, very, very too, too, extremely, extremely pretty, pretty, somewhat. 
Okay, so I would like everybody to turn on their microphones and repeat after me. Everybody. It's going to be a little bit noisy, but it's going to be good. Really. 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 Fairly. Fairly. Very. 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 Two. Fairly. Two. Extremely. Very. Extremely. Extremely. Pretty. Pretty. Somewhat. 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 Okay. Very good. Excellent job. So you say, really, it's uh, something that intensifies and that makes something really beautiful, right? Then the next one that you have here is fairly. Fairly means más o menos, right? A little bit. The next one is very. Very means extremely, okay? The next one, too, right? It's too hot, for example. Está demasiado caliente. Extremely, it's on the top of everything, right? Extreme. And uh, you have, for example, here, uh, San Miguel. We can say San Miguel is extremely hot, right? It's extremely hot. Pretty. Pretty, in this case, it doesn't mean bonita, right? It's, it means a little bit of really. It's pretty big. Es realmente grande. Right, that it's meaning of pretty in this case. And somewhat, it's like, más o menos. Está como más o menos bonito, más o menos grande, más o menos espacioso, right? Somewhat. Okay, so in the case of the Teacher, Yes, tell me. What is, what is the difference between fairly and somewhat? Fairly and somewhat. Fairly yeah. and somewhat are very, uh, very related, right? They are very similar. So you can use the two of them. It's like, uh, it's fairly big. It's like, más o menos, está más o menos grande. Está como bastante grande, right? Fairly big. And somewhat is like algo, right? So you can use uh, the two forms there. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Now, in the case of the adjectives, right? I have a, a little collection of adjectives right here. And I need you to read them, please, and tell me if you know all of them. Read the adjectives and tell me if you know the meaning of all of them. We have beautiful, wonderful, cheap, interesting, quiet, Quite, relaxing, relaxing, safe, safe spacious, spacious, boring, boring crowded, crowded, dangerous, dangerous expensive, noisy, noise, polluted, polluted, stressful, polluted, ugly, dirty, clean, exciting, Amazing, big, small. Do you know the meaning of all of them? What's the meaning of loaded? Okay, we have, what's the meaning of crowded? Loaded. Okay, crowded is, uh, I am going to give you a very Salvadorian example. Uh, when you go on the bus and there are many people in the same bus, the bus is very crowded, right? It is when, when you have many people in the same place, right? It's very crowded. Mucha gente. Exactly. It's like Metro Centro for Christmas. It's <laughs> very crowded, right? When you go to a mall and it's extremely crowded and it's like, oh my God, it's a lot of people here. So... That's the meaning of crowded. Any other question? Yes, I have a question. Teacher. Go ahead. What does, what does that mean? Cheap. Cheap. Excellent. Yes. That... Okay. I am going to give you Marito Rivera's example. Right? <laughs> Cheap is the contrary of expensive. Okay. Expensive is a lot of money. Right? A lot of money. 
And cheap uh, is the country. Uh, okay. Uh, I can give you one example. If you buy a new car, it's expensive. But if you buy an old car, it's kind of cheap. Uh, okay. Any much. other question? I have a question. What's Olga the, Maria, what's, go ahead. What's the meaning of polluted? Polluted. 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 Again, please. Polluted. Polluted. Yeah, polluted means contaminated. Hmm. Like, for example, if you are talking about the rivers, right? Rivers are sometimes very polluted. Or the air, the air around you can be really polluted. If you are in the center of San Salvador with a lot of traffic, you are going to see a lot of smoke. So it means polluted. Good, thank you. Did I answer your question, Olga? Yes, thank you. Very good. Uh, what is uh, another one that you have difficulties with? All of them are clear, okay? So we're going to focus a little bit on pronunciation, right? We're going to focus a little bit on pronunciation and we're going to do the same, okay? I need all the microphones on and we're going to practice a little bit on pronunciation, okay? Ready? Yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher, ready. Yes, miss. Okay, yes, teacher. very good. Let's go. Beautiful. 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 Wonderful. 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 Cheap. 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 Interesting. 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 Quiet. 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 Relaxing. 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 Safe. 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 Spacious. Boring. 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 Crowded. 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 Dangerous. 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 Expensive. 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 Noisy. 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 Polluted. Stressful. 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 Ugly. 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 It's not ugly, okay? Don't say ugly. Ugly is not correct, right? Say ugly. 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 Dirty. 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 Clean. 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 Exciting. 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 Amazing. 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 Big. 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 Small. 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 Right? Small. Right? Small. Remember the pronunciation of S? You say small, right? You don't say E, eh, small. So you say small. 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 Very good job. So, now, if you combine the adverbs with the adjectives, you are going to get an intensifier. How are you going to use it? So in this case, we have, she is beautiful. She is really beautiful. El Salvador is really wonderful. El Salvador is really interesting. El Salvador is very relaxing, very quiet, right? No, we are not quiet at all. We are very noisy. Yeah. <laughs> El Salvador is extremely amazing, right? The class is really big. The class is really interesting. The class is really relaxing, right? English for me is somewhat stressful you can say, but it doesn't have to be like that because it has to be pretty important, we can say, 
It has to yeah. be pretty important because we are practicing a lot. So now I need you to write on your notebook two examples of combinations. You can say very wonderful, extremely quiet, really interesting, very expensive, right? I need you to write two combinations. And I am going to ask two volunteers to give me the examples. Go ahead. On your notebook, please. Write two combinations, just an adverb and an adjective. And when you have it, tell me, I have them, teacher. I have a question. Yes, tell me. So it's, it's an adverb. Yes, when you say it's so beautiful, it's an adverb in this case, and you can use it uh, to intensify, right? With the word so, you can use it as an intensifier. So you can say she is so beautiful, it is so expensive, right? So you can use it as another intensifier like the ones we have on the examples. Okay, thank you. Okay. So when you have them ready, let me know and you can give me your examples. If not, I am going to choose two volunteers to do it. Okay, can you share your examples, please? The shoes are very oh, cheap. Okay, you can say, uh, I have Elizabeth, right? And then Diego. Yeah. Okay, Elizabeth, give me your examples. The shoes are very cheap. Uh huh. Very good. And Diego, can you give me your example? Okay, the class of English is really funny. Okay, very good. The class of English is very funny. Very nice. I I really like that you enjoyed the class. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. Give me your example. Okay, El Salvador is extremely amazing. Okay, extremely. Never extremely. Extremely. Okay, again. <laughs> El Salvador is extremely amazing. Nevertheless, it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, it's very expensive. Very good use, and also you use. Uh, uh, an extra sentence to con to combine it. That was very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone else who wants to give an example? If not, we continue with the ones that I have for you. Me, teacher. Maria Jose, go ahead. Um, Apple is a really expensive brand. Yes. And the Salvadorian people are very friendly. Salvadorian people are very friendly. Excellent job. Two claps for everybody because I know you have a lot of good examples there. So, very beautiful. Thank you. I have a couple of examples here for all of you and for you to see the difference. For you to see the difference when you use an adverb and uh, for you to see also the difference when uh, you have an, only the adjective and also the adjective and the adverb together. So, I have Santa Ana is beautiful. But Santa Ana is really beautiful, right? And when you pronounce, when you pronounce the adverb, you have to intensify a little bit the pronunciation for you to mark it, right? You say, uh, Santa Ana is beautiful. Santa Ana is really beautiful. El Salvador is small. El Salvador is very small. So you see the meaning and the message changes because your pronunciation also changes, right? Driving fast is dangerous, but driving fast is extremely dangerous. The beach is far. The beach is pretty far. Mostly if you live in Santa Ana and you want to go to El Cuco, right? It's pretty far. The house is hot, but the house is too hot. Mostly if you live in uh, these areas of Usulután, San Miguel, and La Unión, and all these places, it gets very hot. Restaurants are expensive. 
restaurants are somewhat expensive, right? Shopping malls are big. Shopping malls are fairly big, okay? So the pronunciation influences the meaning of the sentence because it is not the same to say, ah, yeah, Santa Ana is beautiful. But if you tell me, oh no, Santa Ana is really beautiful, right? It is different. It is very different. When, um, when you have it there in the pronunciation, it's different. And the next one that you have here, uh, San Salvador is a small. But if you say, oh, San Salvador is very small. So it's different. The pronunciation is different. So uh, let me choose one volunteer from the class. I am going to, okay, I have Evelyn Liliana with her hand up, tell me. I have a question. Go ahead. What is the meaning of far? Far, uh -huh. okay. Okay, far, uh, when, when you have the word far, uh, the opposite of this word, it's close. Uh, if you live in San Salvador and you want to go to La Libertad, it's close. But if you live in La Unión and you want to go to Santa Ana, it's far. It's like, whoo, like five hours. It's very uh, far. And if you, if you live in El Salvador and you want to go to Mexico, it's very far. <laughs> in this case, it will be extremely far because it's like, whoo, a very, very long trip. Thank you, I got it. Very good, very good. So uh, let's continue here. Um, let me see, I am going to choose another volunteer. Ailey, Ailey, can you help me to read the sentence about driving? Uh, lo leo. <laughs> yes, you can read it, please. The driving fast is dangerous. Uh -huh. Driving fast is extremely dangerous. Very good job. Driving fast is dangerous, but driving fast is extremely dangerous. Good, very good. The next one, it's going to be, thank you, Ailey, very nice. Um, Azucena, can you help me to read the sentence about the beach? Okay. The beach is far. <clears throat> the beach is pretty far. Very good job, excellent. Let's go with the boy. Mr. Amilcar, can you help me to read the next one about the house? The microphone is off. Um, the house is hot. The house is too hot. Very good job. Excellent. Okay. Let's go with uh, Sarai Dominguez. Can you help me to read the next one about the restaurants? Yeah. Restaurants are expensive. Restaurants are somewhat expensive. They are somewhat expensive. Very good. And we're going to close with uh, Juan Alvallero. Can you help me to read the last one? Shopping my RV. Shopping my RV really big. Okay. Uh, for everybody, we're going to practice the pronunciation. You say shopping malls. Shopping malls, malls right? Malls. Shopping, shopping malls. Shopping malls. Very good. Malls. Shopping. 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 Malls. 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 Very good job. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you for all the participants. Two claps for everybody. Very nice. Okay. So important. Important. The pronunciation makes a difference. Okay. It's going to make a difference. If you say the intensifiers, in this case, the adverbs, really, very, extremely, pretty, too, somewhat, and fairly, right? You have to intensify a little bit the pronunciation there for you to uh, actually convey the message. Okay, 
So here you have a lot of examples that I created for you. And you have one with just the adjective and the next one with the adverb and the adjective, okay? You get all these examples. Now, in this creation time, I need you to create two examples similar to the sentences provided, right? You are going to create two mini groups. Here in the previous sentences, I have two sentences about Santa Ana, two sentences about San Salvador. So that it's two examples. So what are you going to do? You are going to create two similar examples, similar to the ones that I provided before. You can use anything. You can use any example, any place of the country, but I need you to use an adverb and an adjective. The first sentence has to have only the adjective and the second sentence has to have the adverb and the adjective. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so let's work on this and I need you to create two similar examples, right? Remember in this case, uh, in this case, this is one example, right? This is one example here and this is another example, okay? It's not two sentences, right? You need to create two mini groups, one including just the adjective and the other one including the adverb and the adjective, okay? Go ahead. Remember when you finish, you can tell me, teacher, I am done, teacher, I finish. Miss, I finish. Excellent. Can you give me your examples, Olga? Yes. I First of all, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo dura la clase? It's one hour from eight to nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, my sentence is one. Uh, the mountain is high. Mm -hmm. And the number two, the mountain is extremely high. Very good job. Thank you. Now, uh, the next example. Ah, uh, it's a two. It's two, right? You need to create two. <laughs> I, I only, I only, uh, I made, I only made one. Okay, that's why you finish fast. Okay, write the next one. Don't worry. You can write the okay. next one. Someone else who wants to share the examples? I just have a question. Go ahead. If I want to say Centro de San Salvador, can I say downtown? You can say downtown or you can say San Salvador's downtown if you want to be a specific or if you want, you can say the center of San Salvador. The three okay. forms are correct, right? So you can say downtown San Salvador. It's okay if you want to say the center of the city in San Salvador or just the center of San Salvador. The three forms will be understandable. Finish, teacher. Okay, okay. so. Uh, Go ahead, Arely. You can share your example. Okay. Um, San Salvador's downtown is crowded. San Salvador's downtown is really crowded. Very good job. The next one? Or you have only one? Me, Miss. Go ahead. Mm. La libertad is hot. La libertad is really hot. Very good job. And okay. the next one, my dad is beautiful. My dad is really beautiful. Very good job. Excellent examples. Another mm. volunteer? Go ahead. Me, teacher. Me teacher. Okay, <laughs> it will be easier if you can raise your hand because uh, in some cases without with all the cameras, I, I get a little bit 
uh, lost. But I have Marjorie right now, and I heard a boy, if I am not mistaken, was uh, Amilcar? Teacher, no? Teacher, I have a yes. question. Okay, so uh, let's go with Marjorie, then with Amilcar, and then I answer your question, okay? Okay. Go okay. ahead. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, Nicaragua is big. Nicaragua is very big. Very good job, Mr. Amilcar. Okay. Uh, the restaurant food are very expensive. The restaurant food are expensive. Okay, you can say food at the restaurant. And okay. it's okay. Or a restaurant's food, it's okay. Uh, and the question, what is the question? Uh, yes, teacher, I have a question. Uh, my question is, how do you say uh, uh, como bolo, tomado? Drunk. 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 How do you write it? Es, I am going spell, to write it. Spell, spell it, teacher. I, am, I wrote it right there on the, on the screen. Can you uh, see it? Okay. Drunk. Drunk. Okay, teacher. Uh, for example, driving drunk is dangerous. Good. Driving drunk is extremely dangerous. Exactly. And that is a very good it's example, good. right? It's a very good example, right? Driving drunk, it's dangerous, right? Driving drunk, it's extremely dangerous, right? Very good. Very good job. Excellent. Uh, okay. Good, and it's okay. Every time that you have a question, you can either write it on the chat or you can ask me. Right now, I think on the chat, uh, we have some interactions and you can also use it, right? You can also use the chat. And I have seen there that you are interacting of, on it and that it's very, very good, right? We can use all the resources that we have. Very nice. Now let's continue with examples. Um, I was going to call a boy. Roberto and I, can you help me with your examples? Costa Rica is far from El Salvador. Costa Rica is too far from El Salvador. It's too far from El Salvador. Very good job. Judith, can you help me with your examples? And hamburgers are delicious. Hamburgers are very delicious. Very good job, right? All the ones that are hungry right now will be like, oh, Judith, you're an example. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's continue with Roberto Garcia, with your example, please. Otro teacher, ya di el de uh, driving. Uh, oh, driving drug, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't see your interaction, but it was very good. It was a very good example. The next one, let's go with uh, Diego Arturo. Uh, my smartphone is old. Uh, my, my smartphone is very old. Very good job. Excellent examples and excellent job on creating the sentences. Everybody deserves two claps. Very nice job. Now, let's continue here. We're going to go here. Is it clear the use of uh, the adverbs with the adjectives and how they transform the sentences? Yes, give me a, a like there in the reactions is if everything is clear. You can use yeah. the reactions there or in the camera, right? You can like it there and I can see your reactions. Fantastic. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go with the mouse here and we're going to continue. Good. Okay, so I have some sentences here that we're going to work on the creation of them. And I have three options of adjectives on the sentence. So here we have, for example, houses in New York are very, and you have the Stress. option, expensive. cheap, expensive, expensive, or stressful. Expensive. expensive. Exactly, right? Expensive. Houses in New York are very expensive because they are not cheap. We know that they are not cheap. And the house cannot be as stressful, right? Houses in New York cannot be very stressful. So the sentence will be, houses in New York are very expensive. expensive. My hometown, the place where I live, 
my hometown, is not an exciting place. The nightlife there is pretty boring. 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 What is the difference between boring and bored? I am going to write it for you here. And I'm going to write it in black. Okay. What is the difference between boring and bored? No idea? Uh, boring is a feeling. To person. Yes. Oh, feeling. Boring is a feeling, right? Uh, like uh, this, the city is pretty boring. So like all the environment and the things from the outside are boring. But bored, is it from the outside or is internal? Internal. It's internal, right? Because you can say, you cannot say, I am, uh, well, yes, you can. <laughs> you say, I am bored, you say. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, I am bored, right? All the activities and the things uh, in this party, you can say, are very boring. Imagine if you go to a very boring party, you are going to feel bored, okay? So that is the difference of these two things. So my hometown is not an exciting place. The nightlife there is pretty boring. The next one, we go with Rome. Rome, it's a beautiful city. There are not many modern buildings modern. because everything is antique. Okay, so there are not many modern buildings because everything is antique. Antique. Very good. So in this case, there are not many modern buildings. And the last example sentence that I have here. Athens, it's a very quiet city. The streets are never crowded. 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 Excellent job. Athens is a very quiet city. The streets are never crowded, right? And in this case, the meaning of quiet, it's like, it's very nice and relaxed, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that the city doesn't speak, right? It means that everything is really relaxing, okay? Very nice. So let's continue here. And we are going to go to a little conversation that I have here for everybody. And a, in the conversation, we're going to talk about a place in the city. Okay, so uh, I need you to listen to it, right? I need you to listen to it. And then we're going to practice a little bit, okay? Ready? Yes, sure. Excellent. Yes. One, put okay, I am going to move it back a little bit so you can listen to it in a very good way. Okay. Let me play it here. I am going to. Okay. There From we From Carmen. Let's listen to it. Okay. Conversation with a friend. Okay. It's kind of slow. But we're going to check it right now. with a friend or a relative. Issues there. We were having difficulties there with the audio. Okay, so it is uh, working against us. The internet is not collaborating. Okay, so I think the audio is having difficulties. Let's Teacher, stop it I right here. I have a question. From Carmen. Yes, tell me. From uh, 
can you send a presentation Frank. to WhatsApp? Yes, I can do Frank, it. Carmen. Okay. Okay. You know what? Frank. Right now, I am going to uh, send you the conversation in the chat, so we don't have any problem from with it. Okay, because it it is taking a little bit longer than expected. From Carmen. I'm from. Okay, so I am going to send it to you. You have it on. Uh, I'm going from to send Car it on the chat. Okay, let's practice right here. From. Car it says, so from what are Car you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay, it says, I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. The weather, the weather is great. The weather is great. And there, and there are, are some, some fantastic pictures just, just outside the city. city. Is it expensive there? No. 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 It's it not very not expensive. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. It's very reasonable. Reasonable. How big is the city? It's a very big city. It's a fairly big city. It's not too big. It's not too big. Okay, it's good. It's good. It sounds perfect to me. Perfect Maybe to me. I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, now listen to me. I am going to read the conversation for you so you can practice it later, okay? Okay. Okay, pay attention. It says... Uh, so, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yes, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime, okay? So I am going to send the conversation to your chat and we're going to use it from there, okay? So um, I sent the conversation, it's on your chat, right? The conversation is there. Let me know if you got it, if you receive it. Miss? Yes? Yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, soy nueva. Nueva okay. en todos los sentidos. Nunca he recibido clases de inglés. Nunca he estado en estos grupos. Okay. Eh, así que so, uh, ahí voy. Okay, you can, you can send me the, um, eh, let me see. Eh, you can ask the facilitators from Inglés Corporativo to add you to the chat, or uh, we're going to find a way to uh, contact you for you to give me your number and I can add you to the chat, okay? But I think that the first thing that you can do is to uh, tell the ones, tell the facilitators from Inglés Corporativo and we can uh, actually help you with the problem that you have, okay? Good. So everybody got the conversation in the phone, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to practice. Repeat after me. So, where are you from, Carmen? Where are you from, Carmen? Where are you from, uh, Carmen? Where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. 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 <laughs> it, is, it is not the same if you say, wow. If you say, wow. <laughs> Right, wow. you have to intensify wow. it. Like, wow, I have wow. heard, I have heard that's a really nice city. Yes, I heard, heard that's that's a really nice city. city. Wow. I have, have heard, heard that's a really nice city. city. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it, is. it is. It says yeah in the conversation, but it's not common or it's not formal to say yeah. It's better to say yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. The yeah, weather is, is great. Yes, it is. 
The water, the water is, is great. Well, the water is great. And there are some fantastic beaches. And there are some fantastic beaches. The weather is great. The weather is great. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches uh, just outside the city. And there are some fantastic beaches outside the city. Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. No, it's not very expensive. It's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are really reasonable. How big is the city? How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's a fairly it's big, city. Big, city. Big, city. Big, city. big city. But it's not too big. But it's not too big. But it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. It sounds, it sounds perfect, perfect, perfect to me. Perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Maybe, Maybe I should Okay, very good job. In some cases, you might think, oh, but it's a lot of people speaking at the same time and everything. It is good for you to practice your pronunciation. Don't feel afraid, right? Don't feel afraid of practicing your pronunciation. Everybody in your house are going to listen but uh, it is good that you practice your pronunciation with this type of conversations. So in order to, uh, to go like landing in, the, in everything that we are doing today, so it has been a very interactive hour. I didn't feel the time, my God, it was just flying. <laughs> the hour just finished. So we are going to practice. How is your country? How is your city like? And describe your room. I need you please to choose one of the three options. And for tomorrow, I need you to prepare a little description using adverbs and adjectives, answering one of these three things, okay? That will be our little homework for tomorrow. How is your country? How is your city like? And Describe your room. You can choose one, okay? Pueden escoger uno de los tres for the homework, okay? You can tell me how is the country. You can say, oh, teacher El Salvador is very beautiful. It's extremely nice and everything. How is your city like, the place where you live right now? Or you can describe the room, the place that you are there and that you receive the classes at, okay? So you can choose only one. If you want to make the three, that's perfect. Okay, if you want to make the three of them, it's okay, right? It's more practice and that's fantastic. But uh, I am asking you to choose one. How is your country? How is your city like? And to describe your room. Okay, is it clear the homework? If you have any question, it's the moment for you to ask. For tomorrow? Is it for tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because we are going to be constantly practicing the English. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. yes? no sé si usted va a pasar asistencia. Así well, como pasaban antes. well, in this case, we are going to uh, get the attendance from the participants list, right? Uh, because the platform has their the attendance. So we're going to take the attendance from the participants list. Okay. We are not going to call okay. the attendance one by one. But okay. in this case, uh, we're going to take the attendance from there. Okay. So, okay. Uh, any other question? Remember that I am here to help you. Yes. Only, excuse me, teacher, only we have to choose one of them. Yes, you can choose. How is your okay. country? How is your city like? Or you can describe your room. And if you want okay. to do the three, okay. even better. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. So Got it. Uh, Thank you, for me, it has been a great pleasure to serve you. 
Miss Natty at your service. Remember that you can uh, contact me through the chat and I am really, I will be really glad to help you. For me, it has been a pleasure. Have a beautiful okay, night teacher. and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Happy. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank Good night, you. Everybody. Bye. Good see night, tomorrow. everybody. Have a beautiful everybody. night. Adiós, Amilcar. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Have a everybody. beautiful night. I love you, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.